I'm a little man, born and bred, and I'll be one till I die. I'm proud to be an islander, and here's the reason why. I'm free as the wind, and the waves wash the sands. There's no place I would rather be than here in Newfoundland. I spent some time in New York State, and nearly lost my mind. The city likes to flash, I mean, nobody had the time. To met the speed of flash, and life was all that I could see. It may be good for New York State, but I thought I'd go for me. I'm a Newfoundlander, born and bred, and I'll be one till I die. I'm proud to be an islander, and here's the reason why. I'm free as the wind, and the waves wash the sands. There's no place in Let's bring the Royal Order of Screeches to order. I understand that we have a bunch that want to get screeched in here today. Hopefully becoming right proper honorary Newfoundlanders. Those of you who are participating, I'm going to need you to make your way up to the bar area and get in front of me. For those of you who are not getting screeched in, just move to the back or to the side of the room. You'll get a much better vantage point for taking pictures and videos. And for those of you who wish to videotape this entire ceremony, please do not use your flash. And also, I will use up every ounce of your storage. I will be coming around looking for the names of Gabriel from New Orleans. And Gabriel? Chris from Virginia. Chris? Roland from Coburg, Ontario. Roland? Tom from Ontario. Tom? Shirley from Milton, Ontario. Shirley? Tracy from Ontario. Tracy? John from Dallas, Texas. John? Yes. Now, the idea of this ceremony is to try to teach you a little bit about Newfoundland. And all of a sudden, done, you're going to be called honorary Newfoundlanders. I have paperwork done up for all of you. Do not lose the paperwork once you receive it, as you can get into more places with this than most passports these days. <laughs> as we're about to begin, I should first let you know that I'm not the son of a fisherman or a lighthouse keeper. I don't eat fish three times a day, and I don't drink screech. Ever. <laughs> At least not before I'm not like this. I'm not to buy that build a boat. I'm not to buy that sailor. But I got a boat with a fine four cutty and it's got high top sails and I painted it green and it's the prettiest boat that you've ever seen. <laughs> I had a premier once. His name was Brian Tobin and he went to war with Spain over something called a turbot. I'm not quite sure what a turbot looks like, but I'll be damned if somebody from Spain's going to come take it away. <laughs> I believe in kitchen parties, not raves. I believe in icebergs and blue stars and that the puffin is a true, proud, and noble bird. Now, a scoff is a dance, and a Newfoundland, a blue star is a beer, and it's pronounced Newfoundland, not Newfoundland or Newfinland. Newfoundland is the oldest settlement in North America, the youngest province in Confederation, and the only rock you can party on. My name is Skipper Lukey, and I uh, is a Newfoundland. Skipper! <laughs> settlement here in Newfoundland came from two provinces of Ireland and three shires in England. We managed to adopt a lot of their culture, history, traits, and a lot of their linguistics, but we actually managed to come up with our own language here, and we call it Newfoundese. Now, the first three words that I want to introduce you to is what I call prog, puttock, and glutch. Prog is a Newfoundland word for food. It's for your puttock, your stomach, and you're going to glutch it back. It means you're going to eat it. This evening, your prog is what I call Newfoundland steak. It's actually Maple Leaf Bologna from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> the reason why we call it Newfoundland steak is years upon years ago, the kid that would have this on their sandwich would be considered the rich kid. The kid that would have lobster on their sandwich would be considered the poor kid. And that kid would be so poor that if he didn't wake up on Christmas morning with a hard on, he had nothing to play with <laughs> uh, that day. I need you all to take a small little bite of Newfoundland steak. Just so you know, this is actually fit to eat. I prepared this for many a famous chef. The most recent one was Martin Picard out of Montreal. He's like the foie gras king of the country. And uh, he thought it was awesome. I used screech. I burned off all the alcohol. I added some Cajun seasoning. I deglazed the pan with some red wine. And then I finished it with saffron. Who does that to bologna? I do. <laughs> Excellent. So have a small bite. Do not worry about it if you're a vegetarian, as there's not that much meat. <laughs> 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 Your first name again? Gabriel. Your first name again? Chris. Catalina. Margaret. 
Yeah. Right to Carolina. That's good. Yeah. It's good. Oh, Tyler, okay. Yeah. Who's Texas Charlie? Okay. I'm in Allen's towards the Dallas. Thank you so much. Uh, Nate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 On 1497, there was a man by the name of John Cabot. His real name was Giovanni Caboto. He was an Italian explorer. We know him as John Cabot because the English paid for his travels, and that's just how the English wanted his name to sound. In 1497, John Cabot sailed the Atlantic on his boat, the Matthew, all the way from Bristol, England, to Bonavista Bay, Newfoundland. And when he arrived here, he saw lots of activity in our water. He didn't know what was going on. But he dropped his bucket down to fill it up with water. And when he came up to the top of the boat, it was filled to the room with codfish. Work it out fast. How plentiful the fish were in our waters that they traveled from all over to settle here and to catch the fish, to sell the fish, and to trade the fish all around the world as a means of survival. In one place in particular that we traded with was with Jamaica. Because in Jamaica, we make rum. And we love yes. rum. We loved it so much, we would actually get it on that wharf and we would kiss that fish goodbye. No one was coming back to us in the way of Rome, so in keeping with that time and honor tradition, I have a little buddy oh. for you. <laughs> this is a real Newfoundland codfish. Given the chance, this fish could have grown to the height of six feet tall and weighed as much as 140 pounds. Wow. This fish will not grow any more than this because it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's frozen. If you do not want to kiss the fish, don't. I can't force you to. The health department has watched me very closely these days. <laughs> They're ready to blame the next variant on me. They're going to call it Codvid. I'll come back. That's a good fish. That didn't see on the list. Oh, that was hot. You know this. Oh, okay. I just read it. All right. Moving land or to repeat something that they just said because you didn't understand what they're saying. They're going to say it the same way, and you're still not going to understand what they said. Let me give you an example of another conversation that you might hear in Newfoundland. Someday, what? Hey, bye. That means the weather was nice today. I agree. Now, let's say you didn't understand what I was saying. The same conversation would have gone on like this. Someday, what? What? Someday, what? What? Someday, what? What? It goes on like that for a while as it tangles a lot. It's hard to say that when you think. It's not a boy. It's not I boy. It's not I buy. It's a boy. Hey, a shot. Hey, bye. Don't use a questioning overtone, hey, John. You're agreeing with me, remember? Hey, bye. Good. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Good. Hey, bye. Good. Hey, bye. Good. Hey, boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bye. Hey, bye. Yes. Chris. Someday. Hey, bye. Yeah. See. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Perfect. Hey, bye. Good. Good. Hey, bye. Good. Hey, bye. Good. Good. Hey, bye. Good. Good. One more time, Sam. Hey, boy. No. Not hey, boy. Anyway, now that most of us get, we can go along to a graduate level phrase. So when you go back home and they ask you, yes. when you went to Newfoundland and got screeched in, they're going to ask you, is you a screecher? There's only one proper response yes, for that, I, and that is, deed I is me, old cock, and mom may or be just drunk. So, is you a screecher? Did I is by No, the correct mom. response was A by. Just tell you that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you the immediate application. It's the same learning process that they use in those out of stone. We can change it. It's up. just yeah. extremely effective. Anyway, I'm going to slow it down. I know I'm not talking too fast. Some people are just thinking too slow. So, up along, being the rest of Canada, you might say indeed I am. But in Newfoundland, we say deed I is. I need you yeah. all to say deed I is. Deed I is. of three. One, two, three. D -I -D -I 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 Next part of the phrase is me old cock. Now, <laughs> cock, this is not great six health class talk. It's not funny. <laughs> cock is a short form of the word cockney, which comes over from old England. Me and my good friend or my good buddy, what you're saying is, yes, I am my good friend. You're going to say, deed I is me old cock at the count of three. One, two, three. Deed I is me old cock. My old cock. It's me old cock. 
My old cock means something totally different. <laughs> long may your big juice you drop. You see, the jig is for sale, Mr. Gunnar, so as long as it's dry and when you don't go to wish for good luck, what you're saying is, yes, I'm going to friend and wish you good luck. You're going to say, be lazy, me old cock. Long may your big jib drop. Got it? Got it. Once again, the correct response was A, boy. Hey, boy. Too late, I just told you all the answer. I'm going to say it, you're going to say it. We're going to get through into three simple segments. Just follow my lead, okay? Be thy is. Be thy is. Be old cock. Be old cock. And long may your big jib drop. And long may your big jib drop. Now declare you. <laughs> Certificates, incidentally, the shot glasses that you drank from these are yours to keep. So that you can get the also, underneath this table here, there's a bunch of cylinders. These are for you as well. Take one for your certificate. Once you get your certificate and your shot glasses, we'll get that in a second. But for now, I have one final rant that I'd like to share with you. These are a bunch of important facts about Newfoundland. They're all true. So please try to remember them and share them whenever possible, for fear that someday they may be forgotten. And Newfoundland was the first province to respond to the Titanic distress signal. It was 110 years ago, and at the time, Newfoundland was its own country. Now, as we stand unified with Canada, we are the first province to respond. Newfoundland was the first place to discover proof of the theory of the continental drift. We were the first to host a transatlantic flight, and we were the first to have wireless communication in the entire world. We are the oldest rock in the world. This is the oldest city in North America. Water Street is the oldest street in North America. And the Royal St. John Regatta, which happens in the first time for the body every year. And the way it's washed to sands, there's no place I would rather be than here in Newfoundland. Yep.